Let's check in with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl, who has a look at today's forecast. Hi, Bill. Hi, Alexandra. Yeah, I'm hoping I can stay on with you guys through the whole show. The power is kind of flickering here. We've got a raging snowstorm out here uh, at this time, already about uh, 6 to 10 inches of snow on the ground. We're expecting anywhere from 15 to 24 <laughs> at my house. So a uh, little different scenario here compared to uh, you uh, folks in the upper Midwest with a great day yesterday. 70 was the high in La Crosse, 67 in Eau Claire. So that did break the record high of 66 in 2015. We just missed it here in La Crosse by one degree. Look at this. Uh, three times, three days so far this month of March, we have set or tied a record high in La Crosse and five record highs set or tied this month in Eau Claire. Just uh, another incredibly warm month following a record-breaking February. Uh, mainly dry in the La Crosse area with a mostly cloudy sky, 53 degrees. Winds are gusty out of the east-northeast at 10, gusting 20 to 25 miles per hour. Eau Claire, a little bit cooler for you, 44 degrees with a mostly cloudy sky and winds out of the northeast at uh, 5 to 10 miles per hour. So temperatures in the 50s and 60s just to our south, but uh, locally we've got some mid to upper 40s north and east parts of the viewing area. Uh, the rest of us in the 50 to 53 degree range and winds out of the east northeast of 5 to 15 as you saw gusting over 20 miles per hour in some spots. So radar uh, showing some returns but not all of this is reaching the ground from La Crosse and points north. Some hit and miss light showers in southern portions of the viewing area. The main event right now is uh, some stronger rain and even some thunderstorms uh, racing out of Iowa and into northern Illinois. But that strong area of low pressure that's what's riding along this front boundary trying to lift moisture northward battling dry air though coming in from the north and east so chance of showers today but the greatest chances to the south, much lower chances to the north. Sky Tracker will show uh, the La Crosse area kind of the dividing line between a chance of rain and uh, really little, if any, chances for rain farther to the north. And we could see some locally uh, moderate to uh, heavy rain in uh, far southern portions of the area from, say, Prairie du Chien over towards Madison and into southeastern parts of the state. Then that rain quickly tapers and shifts to the south and east this evening with partial clearing overnight tonight. And then Friday, kind of a mix of sun and clouds and dry uh, to end the week. Rain tracker also showing that higher rain chance to the south, maybe a half inch or more uh, down in uh, southern portions of Crawford and Richland counties. Again, little if any rain north of La Crosse. Zone forecast showing highs today, lower to middle 50s, so cooler than the past uh, three days when we hit 70. Uh, in the cross, but these temperatures actually just closer to average. They're still about 10 degrees or so above average in most locations with the readings in the 50s and up to the north. We'll see more of the same with temperatures generally in the uh, mid to even some upper 50s. So for today, we're looking at cloudy, breezy and cooler conditions. Chance of showers with the best chance of south 54 for the high tonight. 33 with those showers ending early, partial clearing overnight and then mid 50s tomorrow. 51 and windy on Saturday, maybe a few sprinkles. And then there's those colder conditions for St. Patty's Day and Monday highs only in the upper 30s. Back in the 40s next Tuesday and then low 50s Wednesday and Thursday. Could see some rain showers later in the week on Thursday, maybe some snow showers later Friday into Friday night. So uh, definitely more March-like over the next eight days compared to this recent stretch of very mild weather.